Security matters. Police in Ogun State have paraded a serial killer, an armed robber, who specializes in robbing and killing young girls after raping them. Senior reporter Kazim Olowe reports. Call him a monster, a beast, and a killer. You may not be out of place. Philip Ogunaike, a 29 year old young man in Abe Okuta, Ogun State, has been arrested by men of the Ogun State Police Command for allegedly killing three young girls in a similar circumstances. While leading men of the Ogun State Police Command to different spots where the suspects dumped the victims, the Commissioner of Police Ogun State Command, Abiodun Alamutu, said the suspect is responsible for some of the cases of missing persons in Abe Okuta Metropolis. He said the suspect usually lured young girls to isolated areas, kidnap them, demand for ransom from their families, rape them, and later kill them. If a 29-year-old person can be so heartless to carry out such uh, killings, it is actually a disturbing trend. And unfortunately, these victims are all innocent um, Kids, I believe we need to escalate this so that uh, our youths will, will be reminded that the only road to success is hard work. The commissioner also appealed to residents to be security conscious and train their children to always be at alert and avoid going out with strangers. The suspect confirmed that he carried out the illicit act and that is a member of a secret court, adding that his accomplice is currently at large. Because of the bad gang that, that we used to join, that, that, is what, that, that is what used to lead us to, that's what lead us to those things. Because I know if I had not joined by gang and I would not used to follow those people that used to do bad things, I know that I may not be able to do all these things. If they want to give us judgment, they, they should just give us, they should go and kill us, in it because they are the ones that lead me to that stupid things. Relatives of the victims called for justice as the police promised to arrange the suspects in court after they have concluded their investigations. Kazimolowe, TVC News, Abe Okuta. Gender rights activists in Lagos have staged a sit-in protest to condemn the rise in rape and other forms of gender-based violence in the country. They recall the recent cases of Uwa Mozuwa, who was brutally murdered in a church in Edo State, and Evelyn Ibe, allegedly stabbed to death by her husband in Abuja, as well as a married woman raped by a police officer in Lagos while in custody, and a girl defied by a police officer in a police station, among others. The protesters say these cases are not isolated incidents, but reflect, reflect a culture of impunity and systemic failure. The law, even the law, the VAP law doesn't say any woman. It says anybody, any person. Any person. Any person. So that law protects both men and women. We were talking about something that has gone beyond the ordinary. Violence against women is like we're talking about almost 99 percent now. So the one you're talking about, violence against men, is just one percent, even less than one percent. There should be adequate funding for women matters, especially when it comes to prosecution. Cases like this, there should be more court built. Cases like this, which concerns women, should not be left to stagnate. And then eventually the, the complainant loses interest. And what happens? The perpetrators continue to perpetuate the circle of abuse. Enough of the killing, so many killing of women. In the last um, eight months, we have recorded 76 femicides. These women have names. There's lots of rituals going on. A lot of females are being killed for ritualistic purposes, which is why we are here today. The laws are there, you know, but we want the law to work. We want perpetrators to be punished for their evil so that it will serve as a deterrent to others. I believe in gen gender equality. So I believe let's all work together, come together and fight for our rights. And to Imo State, where Governor Hope Uzodima says the state is favorably disposed to implementing the national minimum wage of 70,000 naira to Imo State workforce. Governor Uzodima said this shortly after meeting with the organized labor in the state on the modalities of implementing the minimum wage. According to the governor, workers in the state should exercise a little more patience as they will begin to receive the new pay in the next one or two months. 
As we pay more, we need a better service and the quality service for the people of Imo State. Let us join hands and they deliver democratic dividends to our people. Uh, given the current cost of living and situation of things in, in the world, I think there is a need to create better incentives and stimulate the economy. It is as a result of that that we have considered in our own uh, caucus that the national, new national minimum wage should be implemented in Imo State. We are really challenged because of uh, uh, limited resources at our disposal. But otherwise, anything for the workers, I'm favorably disposed to doing it. If I before now, his excellency have shown willingness that is ready and willing to make sure that the minimum wage is implemented here in Imo State. So we have a meeting, like his excellency have just said, in less than one or two, three cities. For those who have not set up their committee, I want to tell you, I'm going to fast track them and then we'll start implementing before they finish their committee assignment. So be rest assured that Imo State workers will enjoy the minimum wage in Imo State.